is up everyone welcome back to another video of Antwell Plays today we're going to be continuing Choices Perfect Match the new, ep the new chapter came out today and I can't wait to see get into this and before y'all start saying anything I'm, I will be continu continuing the, um, the Hero series on Choices I promise I promise that I'll do it before book three come before I mean before book two comes out it's just things have been going on quite a lot so anyway let's get into perfect match <clears throat> now let's now let's see what happens trapped in close quarters on the way to Moscow you uncover surprising secrets heartfelt confessions and a deal that changes everything. What's what deal that's going to change everything? Like, what's the deal? On track, chapter 13. After escaping Berlin in Nico's helicopter, you and your friends ride a train to Moscow to meet Alana's contact. You know, this leaker isn't a one-stop shop to getting our lives back. Eros is going to be re is Eros is going to retaliate. I agree, but do you have my word that the Axum knows what she's doing? Yeah, the code name makes everything better. Cadence, Energy, Santos Tech, and even Falcon, Falcon Incorporated. She was involved in the collapse of these companies. Glasses, I mean. Sloan, tell me, tell me at least you have heard about this. Hmm. Sloan glances over at Alana, meets your eyes, then quickly looks away again. Is everything alright? Sorry, I was distracted. Yes, Sonos Tech was all over the news. Their account statements were displayed on their website revealing financial loopholes, proof of corporate of corrupt board members and a massive gender-based wage gap. Like I said, this is not her first rodeo. I still have a bad feeling about this. D, you have a bad feeling about everything. Naya and Hayden return from the dining car with wide smiles. We should at least try to enjoy tonight. Dinner will start in 20. Then we better get ready. Okay, first I want to change my outfit. I like the other thing thing better. Let's see. If... No, that's not the one. No. 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 I like the other one. I like the other one that I wore in the last chapter. Um, I'm sorry, this will only take a minute. Um, which one was it? No. No. Oh, this is the... Hunter Green. No. No. That's not it. Not that one. No, that's my casual look. Goodness sakes. No. Yes, this is the one. 
tired of wearing that checkered shirt. So, and we better get ready. Uh, yes, what a good idea. You return to your respective rooms to freshen up. This is your chance to change into a different outfit for dinner. He did. I didn't know. <laughs> As you finish smoothing the crease on your clothes, you hear a knock at the on the door. You open to see it. To see Anthony. Hi. Sloan fixes her glasses and fumbles with the hem on of her skirt. Are you okay? My heart rate is just accelerating. From emotion, not from pre exist conditions. Hey, I've got you. What's going on? Sloan grabs a piece of paper from her pocket, unfolds it, and starts reciting what she's written. Me, my first encounter with you was in the form of stories. Haynes spoke of you with such admiration, so much so that I was determined to make sure you were real that you would be good for her. But when I saw you across the room and at Nadia's housewarming party, it was like my brain shut down completely. And it never does that. My brain function is average to above average. Sloan returns to her paper, hiding her face that's slowly turning pink. On our imp impromptu to shopping trip for the opera, the opera, I was surprised to detect hints of jealousy. She points to her stomach in here. That it would be me sitting next to you reciting the words of La Balbe. That you always be dressing up to impress someone else. But that someone else is my best friend, and I would never ever hurt Hayden, so I tried to keep my feelings in check. No matter what, though, you kept pulling me into your orbit as fast as NASA's Juno. That's metaphorical. You made me feel like I could do anything. Your extraordinary humor and sensitivity, how strong you are, how brave you are, in the face of everything that happens, mm. I like you. Mm. Like you a lot. So yeah, bye. Sloan, wait. You try to chase Sloan, but she disappears down the hallway. Yeah, what just happened? <laughs> Man, I wish a girl confessed to me. Well, she did, and now she's my ex. But I'm hoping someone else can confess their love to me. Soon, soon. <clears throat> After getting ready, everyone meets up in the dining cart for the night's meal. Is everything here good? Is I mean, is everyone here good? Okay, get ready to be amazed. She leans out of the door and waves to someone in the hallway. Check out who consented to a 10-minute makeover in, with Nadia Park. Sloan enters the room nervously. She raises her hand to fix her glasses, but realizes she's not wearing anything. She fills with the belt of her dress instead. Hmm. Okay, what am I, what am I supposed to say? I'm not a big fan of context. I feel kind of exposed without my glasses. You look lovely. Glasses or no glasses? Someone blushes and fidgets, avoiding eye contact. Your friends stand around quietly, each lost in their own thoughts. Nadia nudges you to in the side. You know, you could make tonight into a date for you and someone special. Nadia gives you a gentle nudge and a wink. Knowing what we're facing tomorrow, you might not get many more opportunities. 
whoever you choose as your date tonight will know that you are romantically interested in them. Whoever you choose as your date tonight will know that you are romantically interested in them. Okay. While you can be open in relation... While you can be in an open relationship with more than one love interest, the person you choose here will be your only date for this evening's dinner f and festivities. There's Damien, my longtime friend. No! Sloane, who confessed her feelings earlier. No. And Hayden, my perfect match. Hayden, it's always Hayden, okay? I'm not choosing those two. I'm picking Hayden. Who looks good? No. Hi, Hayden. <laughs> Hayden smiles as you approach her. Would you do me the honor of being my date, Hayden Young? I never get tired of saying yes to you. Then I'll just have to keep ask. Then I'll just have to keep asking you out, won't I? You take a seat across from Hayden as the rest of the group settles down to eat. So I'm glad. <clears throat> so I'm so glad we all get some time to, to be together on this trip. She reaches across the table and holds your hand, especially with you. Hayden beams at you, her eyes shining, face radiant with happiness. I'm so glad you choose me. Of course, I'm glad you choose me too. Hayden smirks suddenly mischievously. Uh-oh, I know what this means. When a woman... Yeah, fellas, when a woman smirks, smirks mysteriously, you know what's coming. You know what's coming. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, I see it all the time in, I'm in movies, in TV shows, and video games, and anime. Okay. By the way, I might have something special in store tonight if you're up for it. What is it? You have to wait and see. Dipper, I wonder what it is. Dipper sniffs around one table, then dashes to the next, nose wink, wiggling as she looks for stray crumbs. Wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, woof woof. Dipper, you act like we don't feed you. Okay, first of all, how did they get on the train? They were. In the last story, they they were on a helicopter, then somehow they got on a train. I'm really confused. By the way, you look great tonight. Doesn't he look great? He looks incredible. You wowed your date on the train to Moscow. Aw, thank you. A waitress with a strong Russian accent approaches your group. Hmm... Let me just... <clears throat> what would you like to order? No, that's not it. <laughs> he ignores in Russian, surprising the waitress who responds with enthusiasm before moving on to the other members of your group. Okay, but seriously, how many language do you sp languages do you speak? Probably as many as I want. I think I'm officially jealous. So, um, is anyone else freaking out about tomorrow? Shady criminal types make me nervous. We handled Nikos, okay? Arrows chased you out of, out of there with armed guards. And I was unconscious for most of it. We barely made it out of there. But we made it out. That's what counts, right? Nadia slams her fist down on the table, rattling the silverware. That's it. New rule. No more negativity tonight. Stressing about tomorrow isn't going to help. 
So let's focus on what we're going to do after we bring arrows down. Hmm. So after we bring arrows down, what are you what are we going to do? Oh, oh, sure. We'll just we'll just we'll just will ourselves. We'll just will ourselves to victory while I'm at it. While I'm at it, maybe I'll f wish very very hard and a glass of Bacardi will appear for me. What? The waitress returns and sets a glass of Bacardi on the table in front of Damien. <laughs> Doesn't count. I ordered that. Visualizing positive outcomes is a well-researched psychological strategy. I used it a lot myself. I, I'll definitely be using it tomorrow. It's actually a sound strategy, Damien. Don't underestimate how important confidence can be. It's the only thing that got us out of avig, avig none alive, remember? Thank you. Let's start with you then, Alana. What's your what's next after all this? Once this arrow's mess was this arrow's mess is cleaned up. I can get back to my life. I was about to leave for a new assignment before you all dropped in to my lap. Where are you headed? You realize most of my life is spent undercover, right? I literally can't tell you where I'm going. That's the entire point. Now that you mention it, we really don't know anything about you other than you and Damien used to work together and date. Well, I like red wine and expensive food, gardening too, but I never stay in one stay in one place for one place long enough to keep any of anything alive. What else? What else do you want to know? How about hmm? Are you dating anyone? I have a few people I'm seeing. Oh. There's a lovely dancer I met in Peru. She doesn't have time for a relationship and neither do I. But when I'm in the neighborhood, I stop by and there's... And there's this genderqueer hacker in Estonia. Their hair is some new. Bright color every time I see them. And they can do this thing with their tongue. That... Okay, that is more than enough information. Thank you. You really do live the gl glamorous globe-trotting life, don't you? It's an absolute adventure. I could never live without it. And I wouldn't want to. I love my life. I like my life, too. But it would be nice to meet someone able to keep up with me for a change, instead of always leaving people behind. For a moment, Alana's face holds none of the bravado and charisma it usually does. She looks plain, honest, and lonely. A second later, she's smiling again. You've, your food arrives, and delicious smelling plates are placed before each of you. Enjoy! And a slice of medo Medovic for you. The waitress sets down an slice of creamy layered honey cake beside Hayden's on the house. With a wink she walks away. Apparently ordering in Russian ordering in Russian gets you cake. Hey I want cake <laughs> Alana speaks a few sentences is in the language projecting her voice and watching the wait white staff out of the corner of her eye. It doesn't seem to be working. I get a bite of that, right? Of course. Hayden holds out a piece of holds out a piece on her fork and feeds it to you. Mmm dating you is definitely ha is dating you definitely has its perks. 
Dipper sits patiently, he, her big pleading eyes shifting from one person to the next, quietly begging for food. I just wish I don't have to feed a dog cake. When no one gives her any, Dipper flops down at Hayden's feet with a huff. Mm hmm. Anyway, Sloan's turn. Me, um, I haven't really thought about it. You're so smart, you could probably do anything. You wanted anything you wanted when we get back back to the States. You could work for NASA for real. I actually have a contact at NASA. You could get Sloan an interview. Sure, if she does me a favor once she's when she gets the job, I don't work for free. As for me, when we get back to New York, I'm going to continue pursuing art of art, of course. Although going back to that empty apartment without Steve, Nadia. Nay shakes her head. I said no negativity. Hayden, you go next. Hmm. Even if my job as a travel photographer wasn't real, I can still pursue photography. Try out some seafood in the into piss of that while watching the sunset. Go on a hot air go on a hot air balloon ride. In Cap Cappadocia Photographer's Field Day, that one. It's something I can do from anywhere. No matter where I go next. I want to do it at your side. You lace your fingers. To, you lace your fingers together and lift her hand to your lips for a kiss. What about you? What do you want to do after this? Hmm. After we bring down. After we bring arrows down. I want to relax. All that matters is being with those I care about. I'm keeping, I'm going to keep traveling the world. Seeing our lives in danger has made me appreciate everyone so much. As long as I'm surrounded by fr my friends, I'll be happy. <laughs> well, I'm not going anywhere. The lease, the lease on my apartment isn't up for another six months. Is it your personal mission in life to ruin moments? Only when it's funny. Seems there's only one person left who hasn't gone. Putting aside my skepticism that we will be that will that we will even be successful in getting the best of arrows. How are we sure that will be that will be the end of it? We don't know how far this thing goes. Yeah, it throws a great a, it throws a grape at Damien's head. I said no negativity. Ignoring it won't make everything go away. There's too much we don't know. How many matches are there? What will happen to them if we bring down arrows? Other companies, other countries are going to only want the technology. Damien. Alana, you agree with me, right? What do you think about all of this? Alana uh, takes a sip of wine. I'm not going to indulge your bitterness when we are trying to relax. You know, if you won't enjoy yourself over dinner, Damien, we will have we'll have to uninvite you from the after party. The what? There's a recreation car with a bar and glamming with we're going after dinner for festivities. It'll be great. One last chance to let loose as a group before we have to get down to serious business again. But you can't come unless you behave. Will there be drinks at this party? It is at a bar, Damien. Then consider me Mr. Positive. We're going to win at everything, and no harm will ever come to us. Yay! That was creepy. Do not ever do that again. Not you, Dipper. Drinking and gambling are not for dogs. They are only for those who... <coughs> excuse me. Those little thumbs. 
Hmm. But I will take you to my room. There are many things for you to sleep on. And chew on. As you leave, Alana leans over to you. I've been wondering. The dog. Is she a robot too? Nope. She's an all-natural puppy dog. Got it. And Sloan? What? No! Just checking. <laughs> okay, how is this on a train? After dinner is done, the waitress leads your group to the entertainment car. Car. Get your wallets ready, kids, because we're playing hard tonight. Let's go to the one with the spinny wheel. You mean roulette? Welcome. I'll be... I'll also be your corp group here for tonight. Will everyone in your group be playing? I mean, yes. Sorry, I got too excited. Wonderful. Each person will be given chips to place on every round. You study the rows of numbers. Each of them are marked with your with red and or black circles. You may bet on even or odd specific numbers or a particular color red or black a winning bet will double your money but guessing the winning number will get you an even larger payout basically higher probability for less money or lower probability for way more money Aiden rubs her hands together with a wide grin I'm going numbers only go big or go home right I don't understand why going home is as present as lesser opinion is in that saying. I'm with Hayden. I'm feeling lucky tonight. It is a game of luck, so best so best of luck to all of you. You receive a stack of green colored chips. The group place their bets. Hmm Black. Me too. The group here spins the wheel and the ball lands on seven red. Lucky number indeed. I'd say I'd say it's my lucky number, Nazario. Dang it. That's okay. We're only getting started. Damien and Alon receive thirty-five chips while Nadia and Hayden win back two. Place your next bet. Why don't you choose for us? Really? Hayden nods and slides her hand around your waist. Um. Even numbers? Everyone else chooses where the, to put their chips. The roulette spins and spins. The ball ends on 22. Hayden places her purple stack in front of you. Okay, what are we choosing next? We? What? I trust you. With, with my life and money. And that was a warm up round. After playing a few more rounds, I'll go make drinks. I'll go make us drinks. Will they let you do that? Alana takes out a few, out of a wad of cash and sets it in front of the waitress. She nods and calls out something to the bartender in Russian. They will now, they will now, to the lab we go. Do you actually know how to make drinks? Sure, it's just like chemistry, right? Sloan strides confidently to the bar. She tried to make a Bloody Mary once and somehow set off the smoke alarm. Then I'll be right back. You join Sloan who has started to grab some soda, water, and fresh lime. Mojito? Can't go wrong with that. Both of you grow quietly. Quiet. Sloan purposely blood herself to avoid your eyes. So, about what you said earlier. She nearly drops everything she hold she's holding, but catches it at very last second. We don't have to we don't have to talk about it now, or even in fact Sloan. 
I choose to be with Hayden and no one else. But your friendship means so much to me. I don't want to lose that. Oh. Oh. That's okay. I mean, someone like you is bound to get um snatched up. I think you're amazing, and I'm really glad you said what you said. I am too, actually. I don't think I would have if the last few weeks hadn't been so... She, she gestures wildly with her hands, and the two of you chuckle. Yeah. I'm in Europe for the first time in my life. I have friends who I adore, and I spoke up for my... For what? Who I want? There are all things to be proud of. Sloan nods with a content smile. I hope this won't make us awkward between us. Not a chance. Still waiting for our drinks over here. My goodness, just wait. We should start on those mojitos. I'll grab the mint. After a few minutes, you and Sloan leave, concerned looking bartender to return to your friends. What's Mojito? Took you long enough. She means thank you. Naya tries to sip, tries a sip of her, of the drink and spits it back into the glass. It got a sour kick to it, and not much else. You glare at Hayden. She immediately chugs the drink. Her face scrunched up painfully. Ready for seconds? You kiss her on the cheek and she grins sheeplessly. All this Kamarundi is touching. Have you all known each other for that long? For each other long? At least my cousins, so we've been acquainted since babyhood. And I've known the two of them for a few years. Then we met Sloane and Hayden a few weeks ago. It's actually a miracle that we work so well together. That sounds like cause enough. That sounds like cause enough for so a brace for a celebration. Now, how about I grab us a bottle of rum and we celebrate with never have I ever. Yes, the rum. No. Yes to the rum. No to the velid interrogation. What's never have I ever? That's it. Now we definitely have to have to. I got some wild questions up my sleeve. Should we be concerned? I volunteer to be concerned for all of us. I'll take notes. Draft up, draft up and expose on the anti aero squad tonight. You included. It's the perfect opportunity to dig into everyone's secrets from forbidden crushes to law breaking and everything in between us um let's suggest something else maybe next time there are still plenty of things we haven't tried in this car the song playing suddenly stops everyone turns to Hayden who's sitting at the piano in in the corner of the room her fingers gliding across the keys a joyful, upbeat tune fills the car. Time for a little pick-me-up. Naya grabs Alana uh, and Damien's hands to raise them from their seats. Oh, I don't dance. No excuses. I want you both participating with a capital P. She is so determined, I swear. Damien moves reluctantly to the beat, looking mortified. Alana sways to the rhythm after a few beats. This isn't so bad. Sloan dances beside you and shakes her shoulders loosely. This may or may not be the song I danced during to during prom. Muscle memory never fails. Check it. You catch a wave with your arms, flinging to it to Nadia, who moves with her whole body. Your turn, Sloan. Okay. 
Sloan attempts an awkward wave which she passes to deadpan Alana. It continues from one person to the, to another until it returns smoothly to you. After a few songs, everyone loses themselves to the music. Laughter infuses the room with warmth. And for the first time since you left New York, you feel utterly safe. As another of Hayden's songs comes to a close, Nadia works, works a nearby jukebox. A slow tune swells and she shoots you a knowing smile. And that took you to leave. You to leave. And that's what you leave, except you, Hayden. I know what you're doing. I should hope so. You should kill the mood if I have to spell it out. Good night, Nadia. Nadia shoots you and Hayden a wink and ushers everyone out. Oh, no. I know what this is. You and, you and Nadia, I mean, <laughs> you and Hayden fall into an easy step bodies pressed together your eyes gaze deeply in each other's into each other's finally that desperate f that desperate for quality time always desperate for quality time when it comes to you Hayden rests her cheek against yours and whispers I hope you know how happy you make me I adore you in every sense of the word. <laughs> you hold her tight, kissing her with purpose. This what you had in mind? Among other things. Hayden kisses you again, her body lining up perfectly against yours. She holds your chin, thumbing tr thumb tracing from bottom lip. Your bond lip. Should we move this somewhere more private? Your room, perhaps? Are you going to clue me in on what you've planned? Hayden smiles mischievously, brushing your cheek. Oh no. It involves something I requested from the kitchen staff something cold to the touch. I def I'm definitely curious now. Perfect, because I'm not ready to let you go. Let's go. Let's go then. Hayden offers her, Hayden offers her arm and you take it. You walk down the hallway in familiar, comfortable silence. After closing the door, Hayden circles her arm around your back. The other hand holds yours in a slow dance position. I haven't had enough of this. She sways you from side to side, settling into a contemplative expression. Plenty for your thoughts. Between Damien and Alana's adventurous past, Sloane's aspirations, Nadia's art career, everyone's done so much with their lives. Meanwhile, my life's been relative, short in comparison. Yeah. I'm not throwing another pity party, I swear. Sloane's made a point about being excited and optimistic about the great unknown. And you should be. You've got a. F you've got your. You've got your future ahead of you. Hand nods as you continue to dance under the dim lights. Having crazy friends will challenge you to live life to the fullest, even if it is occasionally intimidating. And you, where do you fall in the interest to adorable couch potato spectrum? I'm a chameleon. I tend to bounce the crowd if everyone's chatty, then I'm happy to blend with the background and listen. 
If everyone's quiet, then I'll swoop in with icebreakers and play host. I see. I'm always hungry for knowledge. And learning from other people seems as good at seems as good a place as any. I love befriending everyone, but I also don't want to lose sight of the most important people in my life, like you and Sloane. Hayden's feet remain rooted to the ground. She caresses your cheek and a small smile playing on her lips. It's crazy how deeply you can care for someone in such a short time. There's no one I'd rather go through all of this madness with, with than you. You brush your lip, you brush your lips against Hayden's, and she instantly captures it with a kiss. I'll never have enough of this. Hayden tilts your chin and kisses your jaw, your neck, or this. Your fingers curl around her shirt, tugging her close, closer. She takes a breath to study your face with a warm smile. Or you. Keep saying things like that and I won't be able to keep my hands to myself. <laughs> Hayden grabs your face and kisses you harder. You guide her steps, hands tangled in her hair. As you both land on the bed, Hayden removes your clothes desperately, exploring every inch of your skin and her hands and mouth. With her hands and mouth. You're so, oh my god, I can't say this. <laughs> I knew like something like this was going to happen. <clears throat> Perfect. So are you. Quite literally. Hayden chuckles her breath, grazing your mouth. She kisses you once and then gets up. Don't move. Okay. Before you can say a word, Hayden leaves and returns with a giant Sunday. You're hungry. You're hungry for dessert. Depends on how you define dessert. Now close your eyes. You hesitantly do as you're told. He drizzles your drizzles chocolate on your lower lip, her tongue sweeping it clean the next moment. Okay, wait, hold on, I'm confused. What's going on? You hesitantly do as you're told. Hayden drizzles chocolate on your lower lip, her tongue sweeping it clean. Oh my goodness. Wow, nice and sweet. You grasp, you grasp when cold liquid stings the top of your chest. Oh my goodness! Oh, 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 oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! That is, um, <clears throat> y'all know what this is. Stings the top of your chest. It trails down your ribs, stomach. Keep your eyes closed, man. <laughs> you hear metal clink against glass and <laughs> feel her mouth on her chest, on your chest. Oh my goodness. She swirls and gently nips down your body. Your breath start melting in gas and you open your eyes. Hayden presses a searing kiss on your hip bone before looking up and a burning question in her grace, her gaze. Oh, jeez. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hayden uses her teeth 
to tongue your under oh my goodness what is going on you know what I don't know if I can say anything in this part okay I'm just gonna read it All right, for now on, when special scenes like that come up, I'm just going to keep quiet and just read it. Because it gets out of control so quick. Wow. <laughs> the next morning, your train reaches Moscow. You walk to a small public park from the station where Alana set up the meeting. So I said, you're the most bitter, sorry man I've ever met in my life. Feel free to exit my exhibition before I call security. And the bigot guest was never heard from again. Everyone laughs. <coughs> Excuse me. But it quickly fades when you glance around and realize how deserted the park is. Are you sure this is Moscow? This looks like Russia to me. Oh, right. Russia. Moscow is in Russia. Right? Is Moscow in Russia? I'm confused. Because I know that. I know that. I know that building in the middle. I don't know. <sighs> Dipper curls around Hayden's leg, her tail on alert. We're here. A public park this empty in the middle of the day? Yeah, something's off. Why is it? This is just a more secure part of town. Not many people live this far from the city center. Hayden takes your hand and tugs you close closer to her. Stay close. Alana folds her arms across her chest and glances around. They'll arrive in no time. If by them you mean the last people you we want to see, then they're already here. All of you turn around to see Cecile fla Oh no. Flanked by a large number of arrows guards. Of course it was a trap! Get them. You feel your arm yanked painfully to the right. Hold still. Alarm brings you to your knees and locks your hands behind your back. She was working for arrows? No, I... Rat us out instead. We trusted you. It's nothing personal. I did what I had to do. You watch helplessly as the guards capture your friends one at a time. You glance around the perimeter for an escape route, but the whole park has been surrounded. Hold still. Ian tries to break free. The sound of crackling electricity inv invades your senses. Don't hurt her, please. Cecile ignores Sloane coolly and then tips her chin to Nadia. Gag on. Gag this one. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you better watch your back. You, a piece of 
cloth is stuffed into Nadia's mouth and tied around her head. Woof, woof. Dipper barks wildly as the arrow's guards force her in the carrier and slam the door. Leave her alone. Damien is brought to the ground next to you, his cheek pressed against the pavement. Damien wasn't part of the deal. The deal was has changed, Miss Kusuma. You feel a stabbing pain on your neck, and your body grows heavy and stiff. Your vision becomes blurry before giving away to complete darkness. I can't believe this. It was a trick. Oh, come and you. <sighs> So, our new friend betrayed us. I don't know what's going to happen in the next chapter, but I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't know. Why you got and I hate cliffhangers. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Share this with your friends. Comment below what you think of the video. Um, if you want to get, if you want to know when when I'm gonna put up my videos, just hit the notification button next to the subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next video.